Dear students, welcome to the session on applications of Laplace transform to the solutions of ordinary linear second order differential equation part 1. In the previous videos, we are learning inverse Laplace transform, how to solve problems by partial fraction method. So, we saw three different kinds. The first one is linear factors. The second one we see with repeated factors and the third one non-factorizable terms. All these things which we learn which is very much useful to solve a second order linear differential equation with constant coefficient which is in our syllabus using Laplace transform. Now, for a given linear differential equation with constant coefficient, for example, y of t minus r plus a into y double dash of t plus b into y of t is equal to some function of f of t where a and b are constants. We are going to apply a Laplace transform on both sides of the problem to obtain the solution for the given differential equation. For this, we need to find L of y dash of t. People use different notations y dash, x dash or y dash of t, x dash of t, dy by dt, dx by dt, etc. I am going to use this kind of notation. So, I am going to use simply y of t, y dash of t, y double dash of t. Even the problem is given in different notation, I will change it for my convenience. Now, Laplace transform of y dash of t is equal to s times L of y of t minus y of 0, where y of 0 is the initial condition given in the problem. If it is first derivative, then we have one initial condition. If it is second derivative, we have two initial condition and it goes on. Now, remembering L of y double dash of t is going to be very easy. Just multiply s on the previous formula. So, we get s square L of y of t minus s into y of 0 and we have to add one more term because it is second derivative. We have to write the second initial condition y dash of 0. Even though we don't have the formula for y triple dash of t, just for the information, I will tell you how to write this. This is very easy. Multiply s on the L of y double dash of t. So, we get s cube L of y of t minus s square y of 0 minus s into y dash of 0 and finally, we have to write minus y double dash of 0. Hope you understand students. So, I am going to take this notation L of y dash of t, L of y double dash of t and the formula is ready now. Now, if you apply Laplace transform for the differential equation, then the equation is reduced to an algebraic equation in terms of L of y of t and s along with the initial conditions. Now, group all the s terms to the right hand side, say it as capital F of s and the terms which consist of L of y of t in the left hand side. Now, this f of s plays a role. This f of s is the fraction. We have to apply partial fraction. It may be any one of the three kinds. It may be linear factor or repeated factors or non-factorizable terms. That's why I gave you training how to solve L inverse using partial fractions. When you simplify using partial fractions, finally applying L inverse on both sides, we get y of t is equal to L inverse of f of s. This y of t is the solution for my given differential equation. Now, let us go into a problem. Solve the following differential equation using Laplace transform. The given initial conditions are y of 0 is 1, y dash of 0 is 0. First, we have to write the formula. L of y dash of t is s times L of y of t minus y of 0. Next, L of y double dash of t is equal to s square L of y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0. Take the second order linear differential equation with constant coefficient. Write it as equation 1. Now, apply Laplace transform on both sides. By linear property, I can split each and every term like this. In the right hand side, L of e power minus 
t is going to be 1 by s plus 1. For the left hand side, I have to apply the formula which we wrote now. L of y dash of t and L of y double dash of t. This is the formula. Next, we have to apply the initial condition y of 0 is 1, y dash of 0 is 0. Therefore, this term is 0 and now we have to assemble all L of y of t terms. I have three terms that is s square minus 3s plus 2 into L of y of t. You can see here s square minus 3s plus 2 and the remaining terms are minus s plus 3 because minus into minus plus is equal to 1 by s plus 1. Now push all the s terms to the right. Keep only L of y of t to the left. So now push this minus s plus 3 to the right and take LCM. We have s plus 1 in the denominator. 1 plus s minus 3 into s plus 1 in the numerator. On the left hand side, I can factorize this as s minus 1 into s minus 2 very easily. Now we have to push the numerator to the denominator on the other side and we have to simplify this. 1 plus s square plus s minus 3s minus 3. So it is going to be s square minus 2s minus 2 in the numerator. s plus 1, s minus 1, s minus 2 in the denominator when we take this two terms here. Now you can understand students why we learn partial fraction. Now taking inverse on both sides, we get y of t. The y of t is my solution for the differential equation that is nothing but L inverse of this. Now we have to apply partial fraction. See the denominator power s into s into s, s cube. So degree of the denominator is 3 and the degree of the numerator is 2 because we have highest power s square. So degree of the denominator is greater than degree of numerator. I can apply partial fraction. So now take this term, write it as a by s plus 1, b by s minus 1, c by s minus 2. Now let us find a, b, c. Now we get the answer already. y of t is e power minus t, e power plus t, e power plus 2t. Only thing I have to find the constants. So now we know my denominator will get cancelled on both sides. So a into s minus 1, s minus 2. I can easily take LCM of this. Then B into S plus 1, S minus 2. And finally, C into S plus 1 into S minus 1. Now, my job is to find some S value which makes some of the terms 0. I can easily found 3 values of S. When I put 1 here, it will become 0. When I put 2, then also I can make some terms 0. When I put minus 1, then also I can make some terms 0. Therefore, we get 3 values. From this, I am going to find the 3 constant A, B and C. First, put S equal to minus 1. Then, this 2 terms will get cancelled. In the left hand side, we have minus 1 whole square, minus 2 into minus 1, minus 2. In the right hand side, A into minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. So, 1 minus of minus plus minus 2 a into minus 2 minus 3. So, 2 2 get cancelled minus into minus plus we get 6 a is equal to 1 that is a is equal to 1 by 6. Hope you understand students. Next, put s equal to 1. So, we get 1 minus 2 minus 2 in the left hand side. In the right hand side, this term and the last term get cancelled. So, b into 1 plus 1, 1 minus 2. Minus 3 is equal to 2 into minus 1. So, minus minus get cancelled. We get b is equal to 3 by 2. Next, we have to substitute s equal to 2. When I substitute s equal to 2, these two terms get cancelled. 2 square is 4, minus 2 into 2, minus 2. So, these two terms get cancelled. And on the right hand side, c into 2 plus 1, 2 minus 1. So, minus 2 is equal to c into 3 into 1. It is going to be minus 2 by 3. Therefore, I found a, b, c, all the three values. Now, my next job is to substitute a, b, c in a legible way. So, 1 by 6, 
1 by s plus 1, then plus 3 by 2 into 1 by s minus 1, minus 2 by 3 into 1 by s minus 2. Y of t is my solution and this Y of t is nothing but L inverse of this term. Therefore, now applying L inverse on both sides, we get Y of t is equal to 1 by 6 L inverse of 1 by s plus 1 plus 3 by 2 L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 and minus 2 by 3 L inverse of 1 by s minus 2. Therefore, my solution is 1 by 6 e power minus t, 3 by 2 e power t minus 2 by 3 e power 2t. This is my y of t students. Therefore, we found the solution for the second order linear differential equation with constant coefficient with given initial condition y of 0 and y dash of 0 in a very easy way. Now, this is the great application of Laplace transform. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.